Hi everyone and welcome to part 2 of my new Now and Choreograph Train Tutorial videos. These videos are designed for someone who has just got their first Now and needs to run through the basics, so please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com. Now on this video we're looking into the very basics of Now and Choreograph. Last week we had a short intro into Aldebaran Robotics and the hardware for the Now. This week we're looking into the software in the now and the basics for turning the robot on and connecting to it. Right now, turn on and connect to the computer. Go! Ah, I've got to do something. Mm, okay, where's my manual? Right, jumping back to the list, we are now looking at now software and then we're going to move on to the now getting started. So let's get going. Right, hi guys, right, going back to the list, we're now on the Now software part and then we're going to jump down to the getting started. So starting with Choreograph, Choreograph is a multi-platform desktop application. It allows you to create animations and behaviours, test them on a simulated robot or directly on the real one. You can also monitor and control the Now. Choreograph allows you to create very complex behaviours, e.g. interact with people, dance, send emails, etc. without writing a single line of code. In addition though, it allows you to add your own behaviour code to a choreograph behaviour. The second piece of software is Monitor. So Monitor is dedicated to give you an elementary feedback for your robot and a simple access to its camera settings. Its modular architecture allows you to load plugins in different mobile widgets, each of them being connected to the robot of your choice. That is to say that you can connect to several robots at a time. Three plugins are available. The first plugin is called Camera Viewer which allows you to configure robot cameras, display what they see, take pictures or record videos. The second one is Laser Monitor. This is for people who have a laser head version of the Now. This plugin allows you to display what is seen by the laser telemeter. The third one is called Memory Viewer. This plugin allows you to watch the data held by the AL memory module of a given Now key. Number light data evolution can also be plotted. To explain a little further, this is very useful to diagnose behaviours through the internal data they use. The plugin allows you to watch the data held by the AL memory module of a given Now key. Choreograph and Now key. The behaviours created with Choreograph are written in a specific graphical language. Now key now interprets them through and executes them. Choreograph also acts with Now key to provide useful tools such as the video monitor panel, the behaviour manager panel, the toolbar, the robot viewer, and the timeline editor. To run through some more facts about the Now key, the Now key is Aldebaran's own robotic operating system framework running on top of a Linux operating system and allows local and remote network access to Nowkey's APIs. Of course, it executes Choreograph's behaviours and Python code, and Nowkey's becoming open source. Right, to give you some useful links, we're looking at Now documentation here, and Aldebaran forums here. Okay, well done guys, we've gone through the software, so now we're going to go back to our index, and we're going to look at the Getting Started section. So to start with, we're going to have a look at some Now safety stuff. The Now is resistant to fall from his own height, but he's not resistant to fall from a table, so be careful where you place him. Falling on the Ethernet cable can damage the robot, so be careful there. Always put Now in a stable position before releasing the stiffness. Release the stiffness each time you can to avoid the motors heating up. Before first use, charge the battery. Now's autonomy varies between 30 minutes and 2 hours, depending on usage and what you're doing. He can also be used plugged in. To first configure the Now, you have to connect it via Ethernet. The Buju software will associate robotname.local and the IP address. So hitting the chest button turns the Now on for the very first time. You'll see the ear LEDs indicating the boot pressing advancement, and then the Now will say Old Nagnuk when the boot process is finished. To shut the robot down, you then press the chest button again, but holding it this time for five seconds, the now will say nook nook when shutting down. Nook, nook. If you're having any issues with the now, such as the now key crashed, you then hold down the button for eight seconds to force shutdown. Nook, nook.
So if the now is on and you hit his chest button, the now will tell you his name, his IP address and battery level. Hello, I'm Philip. My internet address is 169, 254, 6, 238. If you press it twice, it will move the stiffness, so this is useful to stop a movement in case of emergency. Ah. During use, the chest level indicates the battery level. Green is OK, orange for half and blinking red is low. After start, it will remain orange for some time even if the battery is full. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofill.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Now Robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.